Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing a fairly simple set. And I'm going to be using some of my custom uh, acrylic colors. A nude, a pink, a white, and a custom glitter. And I'm going to be using my normal Vinci's monomer and clear acrylic. As well as my not polished size 8 brush. I'll also be using a size 2 brush from Panna, and the tips are from, the square tips from Red Iguana. The nude is like an apricot color, which I thought would go really well with this kind of dusty pink, and I think it really went well. Um, you let me know what you think about it. Um, they're both kind of shimmer colors, which I thought would be really cute with this glitter. And of course I had to add a little bit of glitter for fall just to brighten things up. You gotta add a little bit of sparkle with things. If you know me, you know I gotta have that little bit of sparkle. Cause if you know, you know. If it don't glitter, it glows. So here I'm trying a new little cleanup technique around the cuticles. Instead of swiping the brush around the cuticle, I'm actually using my brush to um kind of tuck in where I had some overflow and it didn't it worked but it didn't quite get at all so I'm using that cuticle stick to kind of clean up the rest where it didn't quite get at all but in all I think I really liked how it worked because it did it actually just kind of tucked in everything around the edges and gave me a smoother edge than how I usually do the swiping my brush around the corners of the cuticle. So I definitely will be trying that technique around the cuticles again um, just to try to perfect that. Do y'all see those Frenchies? I am getting better. Practice is definitely um, making those Frenchies get look better and better every time I do them. It's also helping that it's not a hundred degrees in my house as well. I was actually very pleased how smoothly this uh, application went on this set. Very smooth, very streamlined. Um, I had really no problems getting this set down. And my house was cool enough, I was actually able to do a marble technique that I've never been able to do before. Just because my house has always been so hot that I was never able to do it because my acrylic dried too fast. But this time I was actually able to do it and I was so pleased with the results. But you let me know what you think about how the marble turned out. I was actually pretty tickled about how it looked at the end. Unlike most sets, I actually did have a little bit of a plan of what I wanted to do with this set. But of course I didn't really stick with it. Um, I did maybe a little bit, but not totally. Do we ever really stick with what we have actually planned? Probably not. At least I don't. So I didn't leave but one or two nails of clear capping in. And um, I didn't leave any of the filing in because it was almost no filing to this set. Because my application was actually really good this time. Um, I did leave the bling placement in. But I put a lot of caviar beads in, and it took me forever to do the caviar beads. So I only left one little bit of caviar bead placement in. Otherwise, I did most of it off camera. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stop talking now, and I will let you um, enjoy the um, video. And I may stop back in and let you know what's going on. I might not. It just depends on if there's anything I think I need to explain. But otherwise, I hope you enjoy. And if you do enjoy, um, I hope you comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss any more of my other videos if you do like it. And um, I hope you have a great and wonderful day, and I appreciate you so, so much.